AI is being used for scripting, for shooting, and producing movies. Uh, and here's part of a short film that I saw on Twitter generated almost entirely by AI. Take a look. Hey, babe, how was work? Uh, I'm exhausted. Okay, well, get some sleep. What is all this? Is this a lab of some kind? It broke the hallucination. Restart it. Whoa. What just happened? <laughs> What just happened on set with us is director and storyteller John Finger. He is the human behind that short film. Uh, welcome. Okay, so just break it down for us. What did you do and what did AI do in that film? So the way this thing worked is I initially was just playing with GPT-4 and I wanted to try out what can I use this for and I tried asking it to make me a viral tweet made a tweet that was something along the lines of, uh, you know, I woke up in the lab, what is this, and I'm, I'm an AI, and what does this mean? And Wait, and that tweet did kind of go viral, right? It didn't, it, it, it did okay. It wasn't, I was more just excited about the story that right. it implied. And so I'm not that excited about these language models writing my scripts at the moment. I'm just, it's fun for me to play with ideas and that kind of thing. So I still wrote the script. Um, but then I used uh, a... AI called Gen 2 uh, from Ru Runway, and uh, I generated the individual shots to build up the scene that I had written. So all the images, all those shots? Everything, yeah. All AI? You from just... text to video. So, so I you typed put in, in what the... I wanted. Wow. Yeah. Um, and the process is not is not streamlined. It's, it's a little bit like you're uh, a blind uh, millionaire photographer that's asking a assistant to do, help you out, but that assistant doesn't speak English very well. <laughs> so you're sitting there asking, okay, I want this shot, and you're getting back images, but they're like, okay, these aren't quite what I want. Like, so generate I gotta, again, generate again. again. Okay, change the language a little bit. You didn't quite understand that word. Okay, didn't quite understand that. So you're going back and forth, trying to find your way to this place where your assistant can understand what you're trying to convey so you can tell the story. I think a lot of times when people see a final product like that, they're yeah. like, oh my gosh, what did you do that in? Like five minutes? And you're like, no, actually it took a lot of generate again, generate yeah. again. If you've, uh, you know, pulling back the curtain a little bit, uh, you've seen the whole process. Yeah. So do you think that it is as powerful as everyone is fearing that it is? Or is there a lot of human interaction still with AI? There is currently a lot of human interaction with AI, and I don't know if I'm certain that there is a protective bubble around creativity that will protect us. I, I wish I thought that was true. Um, I do think we're kind of headed towards possibly, you know, right now is kind of a scary moment because the stuff that it can kind of do are things that are kind of uh, jobs that if a creative person is doing that and replaced, they have nowhere else to go, right? right. But when that as this is moving, that's assuming nothing changes, but as things move forward, to me, it looks like this is going to turn into a situation, sort of what YouTube did for distribution. Anyone can go out and be seen to the world, right? Now with YouTube um, and many platforms since, but the, the benefit to production is now some animator can have a vision that they're excited about and they don't have to go listen to a bunch of other people talk about what they can and can't do. They can go make their film that they want to make or even make a whole series or a game or whatever on the level that would be a multi-million dollar level otherwise. Now, it's funny because you wrote that script. Yeah. And then you it generated all those images based on your word prompts. We're here in L.A. There's a writer strike right on the horizon yeah. here. And one of the biggest issues is A.I. Do you think that A.I. and the uh, the way that we're using A.I. can replace creative writers? Um, I, I, I don't know if I know where how fast things will go or where the barriers lie. Um, I think if an entire film is able to be made by AI without a creative person, I think we have much bigger problems. 
because I think every job is probably, because you have to understand, like, making a film, you have to understand the world in totality pretty well mm -hmm. in order to make any film you want. So if you're able to do that, it seems to me all, jo all jobs are in trouble and we need to start worrying about UBI and, and how we're going to make sure people are taken care of, which I actually feel like we probably should be having those conversations already because even if there's a uh, transition where you are, uh, you know, having artists are going to be able to have their come up and so they suddenly can have their own brands and they don't have to listen to a big studio or something, um, that process is still going to be turbulent and people are going to lose jobs and some people are going to be scared and not know how to move forward. And um, it's... No matter how this goes, I don't think this is going to be a comfortable transition <laughs> because it's changing really aggressively. I'll say, I think your films are a canary in the coal mine, so we'll be staying yeah. tuned to what you do next. <laughs> All right, John, thank thanks you. so very much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.